Vicarious liability in negligence law means that if a person is harmed by an employee acting in the course of their employment, the victim may sue the employer, who is more likely to have resources or insurance to pay damages. Justice Isaacs put it this way, It is more just to make the person who has entrusted his servant with the power of acting in his business responsible for injury occasioned to another in the course of so acting, than that the other and entirely innocent party should be left to bear the loss. Should vicarious liability continue even if the employee is not following the instructions of their employer? Why should the employer be responsible for the employee's conduct if they're not following the rules? Justice Isaacs again. An instruction or a prohibition may of course limit the sphere of employment, but to have that effect it must be such that its violation makes the servant's conduct distinctly remote and disconnected from his employment. In this case, a farmhand was told to make a campfire and cook chops for lunch in a certain part of Brown's farm, but by lunchtime the farm workers were still in a different part of the farm, so they made a fire there against the rules instead. The fire got out of control and spread into Bugs' farm, causing damage. He sued Brown. Should Brown be liable for the fire, even though the workers were disobeying his instructions? Justice Isaacs said, Hungry and tired men are none the worse for an earlier meal and more rest in the interval between the morning and afternoon hours of labour, and the employer gets the benefit of this also. The meal at the old chimney was no excursus of the servant, it was not a frolic of his own, it was something purporting to be done in the line of the servant's employment. And it was not so remote from the employment as directed that the employee can be regarded as a stranger or intruder on the paddock in lighting that fire, or as having no right to be there at all. As a result, even though the workers were disobeying the instructions of the employer, the employer remained vicariously liable. The question is how remote the disobedience is, and whether the employee can still be said to be acting in the course of their employment. Thank mm-hmm. you.